Hey astrology lovers, I'm Julia Mijas, your astrologer with Luna, and I'm going to tell you what's going to be going on in the stars for September. Now eclipse season is over, thank the goddess. However, there's a really rare and challenging astrological event going on this month, and that's that all of the outer planets are going to go retrograde. Now retrograde means that the planet appears to be moving backwards in the sky from our perspective on Earth. It's not an actual physical phenomenon. And when the outer planets go retrograde, they're really, really far away from the sun but also much closer to earth so they're going to appear brighter in the sky uh, astrologers consider that any planet beyond venus is an outer planet so that's mars jupiter saturn uranus neptune and pluto and that's a hell of a lot outer planets represent broad social and structural forces like the government the economy culture and society Retrograde planets cause blockages and frustrations since they're going against the natural order of the system. Basically, there's going to be a massive cosmic constipation going on right now. So don't expect society, the government, or any greater infrastructures to be working so smoothly this month. And it's also not a good time to start anything new either. So let's break it down planet by planet and see what this means for you specifically. Hey Scorpio, so Mars, the planet of Pissy, is going retrograde in your sixth house of work, health, and routines. That means that you could be experiencing frustrations and blocks in your work, project, or your sense of organization. Maybe you can't find an important document you need to file for your taxes, or your basement is so disorganized that you can't find a bike pump when you want to ride. Uh, maybe you also want to con Mari that shit, but don't have the time, which is really, really annoying. Also, any chronic conditions you have right now, Scorpio, might be acting up. Things like migraines, IBS, and UTIs. Mars also rules the blood and inflammation, so if you're dealing with anemia, blood pressure issues, or even acne during this cycle, it might aggravate your symptoms. So Scorpio, try to take care of your health when you can. Mars also rules your first house of self, so if you get grumpy, you could get as mad as a murder hornet this month. Find an Aries friends in your life so that you can both take anger management classes together because you guys are both aggro children of Mars and they'll be just as frustrated as you right now. So Venus, the planet of peace, is in your 10th house of career, which does help matters at work. Basically, you're more prone to fighting with coworkers, clients, and customers, but not when it comes to authority figures in your life. Um, you've turned into a bit of a teacher's pet too if you're in school. And if you need to kiss up to your boss, then you're gonna be extra charming and your coworkers may even get a bit jealous and competitive with you. If you're single, you also might get a crush with someone at work. Maybe some new hottie pops up in your Zoom teleconference. Remote sexiness. Heads up Scorpio because this month's lunations are happening across your axis of fun and friends. There's a full moon lighting up your fifth house of play, dating, and children. So this is an amusing time to spend with your partner because the couples that play together stay together. And if you have any kids, then they're going to be a lot more fun than a pain in the ass that they usually are during this cycle. A new moon is waking up your 11th house of wishes and dreams, so you're going to be starting a new beginning in terms of advancing and defining your long-term goals. The problem is that op an opposition from nebulous Neptune in your 5th house uh, means that you could have miscommunications with the people you're dating about your future direction. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe so that you can get the latest cosmic news every month in a short but sweet video. And if you want me to do a video about some topic on astrology, then please leave a comment below. Ciao for now!